next step in our design series brings together the work that we've previously done. We've surveyed the landscape to assess the existing features and conditions, and we've also sat down and thought about how do we want to use this space and identified our goals and listed them out. So now I'm going to bring these two together and create what's called a bubble diagram. So I'm taking our um, previous survey. So this is the uh, drawing that I did for our site survey and I've simplified it a little leaving only the floor plan and uh, some of the major trees on it for now. And now we're probably going to make several copies or several different bubble diagrams before we settle on a final one. So either photocopy this or you could use tracing paper. So I'm just going to lay that under some tracing paper and I'm going to draw my bubble diagram on top. And what a bubble diagram does is it just uses uh, some simple shapes, bubbles, circles, ovals, to identify the different areas. So we know what we want to do in the garden and in the landscape. And now we're going to put it out on paper and try to come up with a way to organize that. So for example, uh, through our discussions with the family, we want an area, the kids want an area to, of open lawn to play. So I'm going to add that to my bubble diagram. And I want a vegetable garden. So I've looked in the landscape, and that's important. This is where you have to look, compare your goals to the survey. After walking through the landscape, there's only a few places that a vegetable garden would really work uh, because it needs to have a lot of sun. And one of those places would be the open lawn area. So we have to work out some of these differences. And also from the survey, there were things that we, uh, some needs that we identified, such as privacy screening between the neighbors. So I would go ahead and add that on to the bubble diagram. Um, some other things that you might want to consider are structures that you want to add, perhaps a shed, um, firewood. We, we already have started our firewood and we're going to put that in the back and I'm just going to write service area. I'm going to put compost back in this, this area as well. And then we thought about extending the dining area, the patio area, so I'm just going to create a bubble. And as you can see, they're very general shapes and the, and the sizes aren't quite accurate. That's not important at this point. You just want to get your ideas down on paper and start identifying ways that your different areas and your different activities can fit into the existing landscape. Remember to consider the needs of everybody as you're going through this process and consult back to your survey to identify some of the needs that you have as well as some of the limitations is where you could put things looking at where shade is, where there's slopes. You'll probably end up making several different bubble diagrams as I have which is a great way to identify what works and what won't work. This is just one step in the design process. As you go through it, think simple. We're just trying to get our ideas down in a very general way at this point.